For the first time in a decade, the polio virus is resurfacing. It was first detected in July in a New York suburb bordering New Jersey, prompting officials to deploy wastewater testing to get a gauge on the severity of the virus's community spread. Well, now the CDC is testing all communities at highest risk for the life-threatening disease. But public health officials in New Jersey say while the tool is critical in fighting back, more emphasis needs to be put on vaccinations. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. It seems that polio is entering in a particular population at this point in time. It will not stay confined to that population. Public health officials are haunted by images of patients crippled by paralytic polio. The U.S. hasn't seen it for almost a decade. But a recent case in Rockland County and almost 60 positive wastewater tests for the polio virus in New York City, including positive hits in three other counties right across the Hudson, recently prompted Governor Hochul to declare a state of emergency and promote polio vaccinations. That raised red flags here in New Jersey, says Rutgers Dean Perry Halkidis. Am I concerned that they, someone may become infected? Yes. So I think what New York has done with do, creating a state of emergency for polio so that empowers people to be able to vaccinate and give boosters is something we should probably think about in New Jersey because we are basically one people across this area. On its website, Jersey's Department of Health posted the presence of circulating polio virus in New York State poses a real threat to New Jersey residents. But so far, the virus has not turned up here. But they are looking for it. The CDC's National Wastewater Surveillance System recently checked for polio virus signals in 32 wastewater samples taken from May through August at five New Jersey sites in Essex, Hudson, Middlesex, Passaic, and Union counties, and report all tested negative for polio. Samples from Bergen County taken separately since March also tested negative, says Columbia University researcher Kartik Chandran. The Little Ferry treatment plant covers about 50 percent of uh, Bergen County, so I think the, it corresponds to about 500,000 uh, individuals uh, across multiple towns, and we didn't find any signal for either poliovirus or monkeypox, which is a which is a good thing. Wastewater testing, what we have been seeing over the past two years, is it plays a vital role in our ability to plan for whatever the next public health problem is going to be, particularly around infectious diseases. We've seen it for COVID, we're seeing it for polio, and I think that we need to really invest more into that technology. Montclair epidemiologist Stephanie Silvera would like to see New Jersey expand wastewater testing and Jersey's Department of Health says it is working with the CDC to enroll additional wastewater test sites. But she's also concerned about vaccinations. Even though New Jersey posts a strong childhood polio vaccination rate of 97.7 percent statewide, almost 20 points higher than New York's. But we know that there are communities that are similar to those in Rockland County in New Jersey, where we have seen outbreaks of things like measles because of their low vaccination rates. Measles outbreaks three years ago in Lakewood, Ocean County, mirrored similar outbreaks in Rockland County's ultra-Orthodox communities, and there's a deep cultural connection between the towns. But while Rockland's polio vaccination rate's only 60%, Ocean County reports a significantly more robust rate of 95 percent. Regardless, Silvera says local authorities still need to push polio immunization. We do have high vaccination rates overall, but there are some communities that do not. And so we need to reach out to those communities and do targeted interventions to increase those vaccination rates because we are talking about children who can become severely injured from this virus. Researchers believe the Rockland polio case is genetically linked to polio strains found in London and in Israel, and wastewater samples can rapidly reflect new viruses picked up abroad. It's not a static situation. Families went, went on vacation and they all came back now, so the signature is going to look slightly different during the first couple of days of September, at least, at the very least. Uh, and then it may it may change again. This isn't about scaring people. This is about making people aware of the situation so that they can respond appropriately. Silvera says it makes vaccinations even more important. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.